it was my birthday and my husband and my little girl and myself were on the bus off a, a double-decker. We were travelling into Belfast for um, a nice day out and all of a sudden we heard um, quite loud shouting and the bus then made a, a loud bang and then went over to the left, started driving over to the left, then it started to topple over on its side. Um, people fell on top of us and people were scampering to try and get off the bus, they were panicking. So my injury to my foot was um, me trying to get to my little girl um, somehow I hurt my foot. When I got off the bus my foot had started to swell and there was a cut to my foot. Um, when I got to the hospital my foot had swollen quite badly so they ended up putting me in a plaster Paris. Julie sustained a soft tissue injury to the left foot. Julie has been diagnosed with complex regional pain syndrome and for six months really struggled to put any weight on this foot at all. Um, she ended up with shortening of her Achilles tendon and had difficulty in getting her heel to the ground. I used hydrotherapy first of all. It was very, very slow progress. Um, there wasn't much happening. The swelling was still on my foot, there was pain, there wasn't as much of a stretch. There was a lot that um, has changed from me using the machine. But we were struggling. We were getting to the stage where, what else do we do with her? She'd already been for physio elsewhere for six months. So, so when the machine came in, I was holding on for my life. I had white knuckles. I was quite frightened. I was using 20% body weight and I could only bear 10 minutes due to the pain and I was up on my toes, fully on my toes, walking on my toes, on my left foot. I felt different and I felt that I knew this was going to definitely benefit me. And three months on, I am now not holding on as tight. I've now I got up to 40 minutes um, of using the machine. Um, I'm using a shoe with a wedge on it and it has gradually got my feet more down to the ground. So the machine has really been useful on my case. From a, from a psychological point of view, she's, there's been a massive improvement in her. She would have been very apprehensive and now she's quite comfortable. Normally she has her iPod on at this stage and she just listens to it for 40 minutes. As she's getting more confident in the Alter G, then I think the confidence outside will come as well. It has definitely given me confidence because I use crutches and I've used crutches for nine months and they've been a big part of my life now. I've got used to them. So being in the Ultra G machine has um, helped me with that being one because I feel secure. She does a wee bit of work with it on an incline, so she'll bring the machine onto an incline when she's comfortable. You don't even have to wait for the 10 minutes. If you're happy to go onto the incline before that, that's fine. But I'll leave it up to you. Just get started with it nice and slow. He's getting close to the stage where she'll not need any wedge in the heel at all. It hasn't been easy being on crutches and being on an air cast boot. It hasn't been easy not able to get my foot down. I have got a six year old so it's been quite difficult. I live up in a masonette with stairs so things like that have gradually got easier and that has been from using the machine that has really helped me. I think it should be within most hospitals if not every hospital.